This video will discuss safety tips when working with a special pathogen of concern within a biological safety cabinet, or BSC. Biological safety cabinets have air circulation grates, or grills, located in the front and rear of the BSC's working area. These grates help establish and maintain the correct airflow within the chamber. Avoid blocking grates with instruments or supplies, as this will disrupt the airflow. Set up your working space for what is best for you and the tasks at hand. When working, be sure to utilize the center of the working area. Place your biohazard bin and supplies within easy reach to help minimize your movements and keep equipment and supplies as far away from the airflow vents as possible. Do not put more than you need inside the BSC chamber at any given time. Crowding will disrupt the airflow and potentially cause a breach in containment. Before starting work, adjust your chair to a comfortable height and position. Improper seat height can lead to premature body fatigue. Do not rest or lean your arms on the front grill as this will disrupt the airflow. Slowly open tubes to avoid spilling or splattering. When pipetting a specimen, avoid touching the inside of the tube with the barrel of the pipette. Slowly dispense the specimen. To help minimize the potential for splattering or contamination, small absorbent pads may be used to assist in opening and closing tubes as well as point-of-care cartridges. Place the cap back on the tube and secure the specimen in a rack before moving on to the next task. When opening and closing items, check the working area as well as your gloves for potential splattering and contamination. Absorbent pads may make it easier to see potential contamination. Clean up any contamination in the working area or on instruments immediately. All items that are placed in the biosafety cabinet must either be discarded in a biohazard bin or decontaminated before removing. Before packaging a specimen for removal from the lab, perform hand hygiene and don a new pair of clean gloves. Remove the top layer of gloves using your facility's glove removal technique and place them carefully into the biohazard bin before removing your hands from the cabinet in order to perform hand hygiene. Alternatively, you may perform hand hygiene before removing your hands from the cabinet, providing there is no visible contamination. Be sure to follow your facility's procedures. Upon removing the hands from the BSC, immediately perform hand hygiene. Apply the manufacturer recommended amount to the palm of one hand and rub hands palm to palm. Rub the right palm over the back of the left hand with interlaced fingers and vice versa. Now, rub both palms together with fingers interlaced. Next, cup your hands and rub side to side. With the left thumb clasped in the right palm, rub rotationally and switch. Remember to rub the cuffs of your gloves as well. Finally, Rub both hands together with fingers closed until the sanitizer is dry. The entire process should take no less than 20 seconds to complete. Have your partner hand you a clean specimen bag and place it on a clean space within the BSC's work surface. Disinfect the tube using an approved wipe. Wipe the tube, being careful not to touch the surface with your glove. Before sealing, carefully roll the bag to get as much air out as possible. Once the bag is sealed, decontaminate the outer surface of the bag with a disinfectant wipe. Be sure not to set the bag down on any potentially contaminated surfaces. Indicate to your partner that you are ready to hand off the specimen. Use a disinfectant wipe to clasp the bag during the handoff. While still holding the bag with a disinfectant wipe, hand the bag to your partner. When handing items out of the cabinet to your partner, continue to be mindful of safety and never let your gloves cross the front airflow grates and the BSC's sash. 
Use the same rule when handling items into the cabinet as well. Your partner will take the specimen bag and place it into another clean specimen bag, taking care to remove trapped air before sealing. Upon sealing, the outer surface will be decontaminated. After double bagging, your partner will use an EPA-approved disinfectant wipe to hold the bag and carry to the door in preparation for a room-to-hallway handoff. Place all used supplies in a biohazard bin before removing from the cabinet. After the supplies are discarded, if applicable, carefully fold up the absorbent pad. Fold the absorbent pad from the outside in to ensure any contamination is contained. Carefully place the folded pad into the biohazard bin. Close and lock the bin's lid. Decontaminate the outside surfaces of the biohazard bin with an approved wipe. Hand the sealed biohazard bin to your partner, making sure not to let your hand pass the BSC's air vents. Decontaminate the working surface of the biosafety cabinet with the approved dilution of bleach or an approved disinfection wipe. Work from the outside or cleanest area towards the inside of the cabinet or dirtiest area of the cabinet. Ensure that all instruments and pipettes have also been decontaminated using an appropriate disinfectant. Allow the disinfectant to sit for the entire manufacturer's recommended contact time. After decontamination, wipe down the cabinet with either water or 70% ethanol to remove any residual disinfectant. Residual bleach or other disinfectants can ruin the surfaces of the cabinet. Set up the space for the next shift. Once the working surface has dried, have your partner hand in a clean biohazard container. Discard the wipe and gloves used to clean the BSC. Reset the BSC for the next shift by laying down a new, clean absorbent pad in the center of the working surface, if applicable. Restock any supplies such as tips, disposable pipettes, and absorbent squares. When working with a specimen containing a potential hazardous pathogen, remember to work slowly and carefully. Be mindful of any task that may pose a contamination risk and use items that can help minimize spilling or splattering such as absorbent pads. Check your space regularly for contamination and clean spills or splatters immediately.